is for empty. That's how the woman found the tomb that day. A is for angels. The woman saw. He's alive, they say. S is for surprise! The woman were at the news they heard. T is for tell. They went to tell the disciples the shocking news. E is for eyes. Eyes that saw Jesus no longer in the grave. And the last one. R is for risen! He's alive and he can save. Hi, Tom. What brings you here to our area anyway? Are you on vacation? Betty? Betty? Is... That really you? <laughs> of course it's me, Tom. Who else would it be? But you look so different now. What happened? Different? What do you mean I look different, Tom? Well, you used to be a different color. Oh, you mean when I was wearing my white coat. That's it. You were white the last time I saw you. It was winter then, Tom. I changed my coat into my warm weather coat. You changed into a warm weather coat now? It's not even warm. Well, it's not warm now, Tom, but it will be, and I'll be ready for it. Interesting. I can't change my coat, Betty. But I wish I could. Why, Tom, your coat is beautiful. Why ever would you want to change it? Because I'm cold. Oh. I want it to get warm fast. So I won't be cold anymore. Well, well I was going to ask you, Tom, what are you doing up here? Your home is always really warm, isn't it? Well, that's just it, Betty. My home wasn't only warm. It was hot. So, so what are you doing here where it's not so hot? I wanted a change. A change? Yeah. Everyone told me not to leave, but I didn't listen. Oh, I get it. So you changed where you live. Right. But I'm really missing my home. So why did you come here, Tom? Well, I thought the grass would be greener here. <laughs> it won't be green for a while yet, Tom. I know that now. So, so where did you come from in the first place? Mexico. Wow, Mexico is really far away. I know, but then moving far away was sort of like Jesus. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about, Tom? That's it, earth. I'm talking about Jesus leaving heaven and coming down to earth. Jesus lives on earth? Well, not anymore, but a long time ago he did. And for 33 years he lived on earth. Well, well where's Jesus living now? Oh, he went back to heaven. Oh, didn't Jesus like living here on earth, Tom? Jesus came to do some very important work for God. And when he finished the work, he went back to heaven. So, so what was the work Jesus had to do? Jesus' work was to show people that the only way to reach God was to come to Jesus first. Oh, that sounds pretty easy work. Too bad it wasn't easy. What do you mean, Tom? Well... 
People are hard to convince, Betty, about what is right. Lots of people don't want to listen to good advice. Oh, but surely they listen to Jesus, Tom. Jesus is God. Well, yes, he is. But people wouldn't listen. Instead, they killed Jesus because they didn't like what he was saying. No, no, killed him? Really? Oh, that's just awful. It was awful. But then it changed to be good. How could that be good, Tom? Well, not just good, Betty. It was great! Because Jesus is stronger than death. He rose again. He's alive now. Wow, that's great news. So, so where does Jesus live now? Well, Jesus went back to heaven because his work on earth was finished. This is absolutely amazing, Tom. It is, Betty. And you can read all about it in the Bible. Oh, I believe the Bible because I know it's God's Word. And God's Word is always true. That's right, Betty. But you know what, Tom? I've got a feeling about you now. Uh, what kind of feeling? I have a feeling you're going to go back to your faraway home, too. I think you're right, Betty. I belong where God put me, in Mexico. But let's sing about Jesus first. Sure thing, Tom. True, 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 for sure, Jesus is the way. He is also truth, and life His word we should obey. True, 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 for sure, the Bible tells us so. Jesus is the only way to God for us to know. Well, that sums it up, Betty. But now I'm going to fly home. Well, then happy trip, Tom. I I'm going to hop to my home right now, too. Bye, Betty. Bye, everyone. See you another time, Tom. Bye, everyone. At Easter, we celebrate how Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. Jesus never did anything wrong, but we are sinful, and he died to take the punishment that we deserve for our sins. After Jesus died on the cross, he was buried. His body, his dead body, was buried in a tomb, and a large stone was rolled over the opening. That was Friday night. Saturday came and went. Sunday morning, some woman came to the tomb looking to put perfume on Jesus' body. But when they got there, the stone was rolled away. The tomb was empty, and angels told them that Jesus had risen. Later, the woman saw Jesus, and so did the disciples. In fact, in 1 Corinthians, we read that at one point, Jesus appeared to over 500 people at one time. Jesus is risen, and he is alive forever. Now, this is good news for us, because if we are people who realize that we are sinners, that we are not good people, that we have sinned against a holy God and that we need our sins forgiven. If we are sorry for our sins and come to God and ask God to forgive our sins because of what Jesus did on the cross, because he was perfect, he's the perfect sacrifice. He can take away the punishment for our sins so we can be forgiven and not guilty in God's sight anymore. But even more than that, because Jesus' body rose from the dead, people who have trusted in Jesus for the forgiveness of sins, who are followers of Jesus, one day... If they die before Jesus comes back again, one day Jesus will raise their bodies again. When they die, they will go to be with Jesus. But one day when Jesus comes back again, their dead bodies will be raised up, just as Jesus' dead body was raised up. And they will live forever and ever in a wonderful place, in a perfect new heavens and new earth. And so that's why we rejoice each Easter, because it's such good news. So now I'm going to show you how you can make one of these resurrection mini garden slash tombs. To start, you're going to need an empty milk or juice carton like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by cutting it in half. So you're going to measure two inches all the way around the top and make little marks. Two inches. And draw lines to connect the marks. So you have a line all the way around. And then you're going to get an adult to help you because they're going to need to use either a knife or sharp scissors to cut these two pieces in half. 
So now you can see I've cut my carton into two pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top piece here that's still got the lid in it and I'm going to stick it into this piece here, bottom piece, and I'm just going to push it in gently till this piece sticks up just about an inch above the edge of that one. And now you're going to need your, an adult's help again because what you're going to do is cut open an opening here using a sharp knife or pair of scissors like this that's going to be the opening of your tomb. So now you can see I've cut an opening that's going to be the opening of my tomb. I also used an old box and cut out a round cardboard circle that's going to be the stone to cover my tomb. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use grey paint because I want it to look like a rock, but you can use any color you want. I'm going to paint my stone. And then I'm also going to paint my container. So now you can see I've painted all four sides of my container. I've painted what's going to be my stone and I also took the little brat that I'm going to use to secure the stone to the container and I painted the top of it so it would match as well. So now I'm going to set that aside to dry. So while I'm waiting for my container to dry, I can start to work on my cross. Now on this particular one, I actually used dogwood branches because I thought the red cross would remind me that Jesus shed his blood on the cross. But for this one, I think I'm just going to use some traditional um, brown sticks. So you just need two sticks you can find out in your yard and just lay one on top of the other. And then I'm going to use a piece of raffia here to tie them together. You could use whatever you have. So you just need to leave a little bit of an end. You wrap it around the one way a few times. And then you switch and wrap it around the other way a few times. And then I'm just going to tie these two ends together and cut off the extra. So there, now I have my finished cross ready to go into my garden. Another thing you can do while you're waiting for your container to dry is to prepare further decorations to add into your garden. Now in this garden I took um, pictures of little flowers that I cut out of a flower magazine and I colored green toothpicks and I taped the picture onto them and I stuck them in. So I've done the same thing here. I've got some pictures that I've cut out and I've colored green toothpicks. I've taped them in the back so I can stick those into my garden when I'm ready. You could also use artificial flowers or you could grab a rock from outside, paint it with saying Happy Easter or He is Risen and put a painted rock in there. You can be creative and think of what else you could use to decorate your garden. So now you can see I've fastened my stone to the front of my tomb so that it can open and close. Now I'm going to pour some dirt into this top part here. And then I'm going to just moisten the dirt and then I'm going to add some seeds. Now this last one here I did, I actually added some broccoli sprout seeds which are going to grow more in the next few days. But for this one I'm actually going to add grass seeds. You can see I have some grass seeds. I'm going to add grass seed to the top. So I've moistened my dirt so now I'm going to add the seeds. And then I'm going to take just a teeny tiny bit more dirt and sprinkle it on top of that. Just a tiny bit. So now I'm going to add my cross. And I'm going to add my flowers. And as a last final detail, I've taken a paper and written the words, He is risen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip that inside the tomb. So that every time you peek inside the tomb, you see the words, he is risen. Because of course, when the woman came to the tomb looking for Jesus' body, that's what the angel told them. He's not here, he is risen. And over the next few days, I'll watch this grass grow and I'll be reminded that Jesus is risen. And that's why I can have a happy Easter. And I hope you have a happy Easter too. Man, riches for the
come and be fearless here at the foot of Calvary. There is redemption for every affliction here at the foot of Calvary. So come and be Yeah.